everybody. How y'all doing today? Let me just make sure I got everything that I need to be set up. Because I'm super excited, y'all. I hope y'all excited too. Give everybody a chance to log on. Y'all know I go live every morning at 10. And this is basically um, how I get to educate everyone. So, you know, we got a lot of people. Um, a lot of people, a lot of members, there's a lot of people pending. I'm going to just say it like that. A lot of members pending, trying to get in. And I am doing the best I can with getting everybody in because I'm just trying. Because at first I was just like approving, approving. And I noticed that sometimes y'all was adding men and I asked y'all not to add men. So I'm literally having to go in and approve everybody individually versus approving people, you know, 50 at a time, 40 at a time. Sometimes a man will slip in, you know, because y'all huh, y'all not making it easy for me at all. Y'all y'all trying to get them in in here by any means necessary, and I don't know why y'all trying to get them in up in here like that. Then y'all are adding a lot of um, the term that y'all like to use is stud. This is a female. Like in other words, if you are a stud and you're living your life as a man so to say masculine this is not the place for you this is for ladies so I, i'm not trying to make this the chat line or the hookup and all that kind of stuff this is strictly for education i don't want to turn this group into that you know if i wanted that i would have made it a co-ed group and i didn't make it co-ed on purpose okay so Okay, all right, it's a good bit of y'all here. I know y'all wondering like, okay, Sharonda, why you got the pool? All right, today we're gonna be talking about putting on a show, okay? The, the, uh, the suck in the knees went viral, okay, cool. Riding a dick, spelling coconut, cool. I got so many people trying to get in now because it's all this information going forth and people are like, okay, I wanna see what that's about. So they just getting in and we we on the whole we this week we on something new. We sucked knees last week. We spelled coconut the week before that. We on week three. We <laughs> we on week three. They playing catch up. We on to the next one. Okay. So um I need to be able to know that y'all can hear me before I get started with this live. Can you hear me? Can you see me? And do I have any glitches going on? Because sometimes it look good on my end. But it ain't looking good on y'all end. So, I need y'all to just to like it up, love it up, or whatever, just to let me know that you can hear me, you can see me. And I need y'all to talk back to me, because yesterday, I did a lot of teaching on yesterday, and I got, like, literally no comments. And I don't know if sometimes when I'm teaching, it may be rubbing you wrong. Sometimes it may make you think, okay, I know I'm going to... But, um, so with that being said, I need y'all to communicate with me. Let me know, you know, if, it, if the post got you feeling some type of way, let me know if, uh, something is going, if you agree, let me know if you disagree, let me know because this is a open forum. I need to know, you know, from different points of view, because all I'm going to do is give you the facts and give you the way I feel about it. But I like to get feedback so that y'all can let me know. How you feeling about it? Okay. All right. So, with that being said, we are going to get started. Are y'all excited? Give me like a round of applause. We done had an awesome two weeks. We done spelled coconut, whether you did a capital letter, lowercase letter, or in cursive. I had one lady that said she got stuck on the T. And I'm like, bitch, all you got to do is rock your hips, throw that hip to the side. Come back up and bring that pussy back up and make it pop. And that's still the deal with the team. All right. So, putting on a show. Putting on a show requires confidence, okay? I can give you all of this information and I can give you all these tools. But a show requires confidence. A show requires you to get out there and do your shit. For those of y'all that don't know me, 
I used to manage strippers, okay? And when girls would come in and they would want to dance, a lot of times I would tell them, when you are entertainer, especially working for me, it has nothing to do with you dancing. Dancing is great, but anybody can get out there and dance. Anybody can get out there and twerk and shake their ass. Everybody is doing it, but everybody cannot put on a show. So my question to them is, can you put on a show? Can you bring creativity? Because a man is not going to remember, oh, yeah, she twerked real good. She wiped that ass real good. She did all this real good. But if you came with a show, he going to remember that shit. So I need y'all this upcoming week here between this Wednesday and next Wednesday. Your assignment is to come with a show. Whether your show requires water, that's why you got this baby pool here. I just bought this at Family Dollar for $2. Whether your show requires water, whether your show requires you to dress up in a more of a stripper type of tire, and even the plus size ladies, I have a tire that's real strappy, real stripperish looking, or if your show requires fantasy. Fantasy is you dressing into characters, cats, nurses, schoolgirls, um, secretaries, his button-down shirt and tie. Those are all shows, okay? So, one person's show may be on one level. They may, you know, like to get more creative with it, more messy with it. And then another person's show may be more seductive and all this. So, people always say, well, Sharonda, I can't dance. Doing a show does not require you to dance, Okay? Doing a show has everything to do with you being seductive and with you gaining his attention. A show does not have to be long. Some people's shows is the length of a song, which means it's like two, three minutes long. Some people's shows are just that short. But when you was a dancer for me, you had to have a show that was an hour long. Imagine holding a man's attention for an hour. A lot of times they don't even realize that an hour would have passed, two minutes have passed. They don't even realize it because they so caught up in, you put all this together for me. A show. Now, some people's shows are going to require, I'm, I'm going to go over different types of shows, okay? So this live is going to be about 30 minutes long, so I'm trying to wrap it up about 1030. Okay, so I'm going to go over different types of shows so that you can um, determine which show is going to be best for you. All right. So the first show that I'm going to talk about is very, 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 very simple, which means that you come in the store, you get the packaging, everything is literally in the packaging. So you can do schoolgirl, naughty schoolgirl, right? You can do nurse, meaning that everything is in the packaging, right? Or you could do a cat. All of this is fantasy. Meaning that you just basically putting it on, you confident, you playing a role. If you are a nurse, you have to be a nurse. Meaning that you have to tell him, oh my God, you touch him. Oh baby, it feels like you have a fever. Let me take your temperature. Stick your finger in his mouth to take the temperature. Yes. Put something on it. Put a little chocolate. Put a little whipped cream on it. Put it on whatever and stick your finger in his mouth to take the temperature. Talk back to me. Talk back to me. Let me know that you you grasping this concept. Okay? If you're going to be a, a naughty schoolgirl, go to the uh, Walmart and get one of those little rulers, like a little dollar ruler. A dollar. Like a little bitty small dollar ruler. You ain't got to go get no big long yardstick. Just go get a little dollar ruler as a prop to go with this. And you tell him, I have been so bad and I have been so disrespectful. I have been talking bad. I need to be punished. Y'all know how when you used to go to school, you used to get uh, spankings. And you know, you allow him to gently spank you. Of course, he ain't trying to beat you. He just gently spanking you. It's role playing. It's putting on a show. Okay? Then we have the cat. If you're going to be the cat, bitch, I need you to crawl. I need you to crawl to him. I need you to take your head and put it up against his leg, just like a cat do. You know what a cat do. 
You know how a cat get all up on you and they just crawl all around you and they take their body and put it up next to his body and he gonna be looking like, well, God, damn. Like, you really doing some shit, right? Okay, so that's fantasy. We done done fantasy, okay? Now let's talk about seductive, all right? With seductive, this is gonna require you to dim the lights, this is gonna require you to go to like Dollar Tree and get some candles or either those little tea, those little uh, tea lights that you put down everywhere. You can put those down everywhere. Um, it's gonna require you to create a playlist. You could go on Pandora, Spotify. I like to um, put on the R. Kelly playlist. I like to put on um, Genuine has a really good playlist. Um, Tank has a really good playlist. You know those type of that type of music. Unless you into something else. You don't want to put on Mary J. Blige. You ain't trying to kill the moment. You're trying to build it, okay? So with that being said, you want to make sure your music is right. You want to make sure your lighting is right. You want to make sure that you are right. So when you are doing seductive, I would recommend that you do some type of um, massage oil, like an awesome kind of oil you can put all over your body. Some type of... Um, whipped cream that you can put all over your body, chocolate syrup that you can put all over your body, just different things allow him to taste. All of these different condiments that you can put all over your body allow him to taste it. But more so, you still have to look the part. So this is some strappy attire that you can wear if you're a plus size. This is strappy attire. So when I say plus size, this stuff go up to 4X. I don't give a damn how many roles you got. You got to wear that shit confidently. He know them roles that he knew that shit was there when he met you. You ain't just gonna automatically turn into a size two when you're a size 22. Come on now. He, he with you because he liked that shit. If he didn't like that shit, then he would not be there. And that's the shit you got to understand. When I had a lady yesterday, she came in to look at lingerie and all she could say is, when I lose my stomach, I'm gonna come back. Baby, you've been trying to lose that stomach for three, four years now. It's there. Embrace that shit. Tell him to kiss on them fucking rolls. Tell him to hold on to them fucking love handles. Like y'all gotta, y'all really gotta allow yourself to live in the moment and stop being so conscious of the, your body image and start embracing it. So if you want to do more like stripper type, okay, this is plus size. And then if you want to do like more dress strappy, all of this is plus size. I like masks and stuff like that. So we also have these masks. Mm -hmm. Nipple clamps. Now see me, I'm going to do nipple clamps. I'm going to do masks. And then I'm going to do the pearl thong. Because I'm going I'm to take these thongs and I'm going to stuff them in my pussy. Okay? I'm going to stuff them inside of my pussy. Okay? And when I bust my pussy open, I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to put it inside of me and I'm going to pull these pearls out. And I'm going to invite him to suck on these pearls. What? This is all a part of the show. Okay? So this is when you're putting a show on. Keep in mind, last week, week before last, it was coconuts. Last week, it was sucking knees. This week, from Wednesday to next Wednesday, you putting on a show. Another way you can put on a show. I'm making sure I keep up with the time. You can go to any Home Depot, Family Dollar, wherever they sell painting stuff, and there's these uh, plastic drop cloths that the painters put down to keep the, the paint from getting all over the floor. You want to put that down on your floor first, and then you want to grab the kiddie pool and put it down there. Now, get you a big pot, right? Fill it with, oh, excuse me, I got hiccups. Fill it with warm water. Because you're not trying to fill this pool up. You just want enough water in it for you to be able to do what it is that you're trying to do. Okay, so you're going to fill it up with the water. It may come up to like the little, first little notch right here. And then this is the glow in the dark bubble bath. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to sit this in, in the uh, light for about 30 minutes. High light, meaning like on the kitchen counter, somewhere where you can get a lot of light. And then you're going to shake it up, right? So, you already got the water in it. Now you're going to pour this in the water, okay? 
Depending on how bright you want to glow will determine how much you use. I normally use about half the bottle, all right? Then I go and get another pot of water and I dump that in there. So now it's going to be all sooty with the bubbles, right? So I got this shit sitting in the middle of the floor on top of the top, right? I'm going to turn, I'm going to, of course, you know, then you're going to call him in there. You already got your shit on that you're going to wear, whether it's some kind of skimpy shit or you may decide to be naked. It's up to you, right? You're going to give him a whole go in the dark show. You're going to sit him down, of course, have the music playing. And this time you might want to have on some fucking Kevin Gates or some old hardcore music that you like to fuck to. Because this ain't seductive. This some old hardcore shit that you like to fuck to. And you're going to get up in this fucking kiddie pool and bitch, you're going to waddle all over the fucking place. And he's going to see your body fucking going every fucking which direction. And you just get out that bitch and you start unbuttoning him and undressing him. And guess what? You lay his big ass down up in that fucking pool and you get on top of him and bitch, you bounce down on that fucking dick. Because this this hardcore shit, right? So you're going to be riding his dick on your fucking feet and you're going to have this fucking glow shit splattered all over you and him. And this shit going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be some shit that he ain't never experienced before. And he's going to love it. And you're going to love it. And when it's over, you know, you have a little towel somewhere where you can dry yourself off and you can fuck the shit out of each other right then and there. Or you can take that shit to the bathroom so you can actually sud up and get the glow shit up off of you. Or you can just take that shit straight to the bedroom. Or you can fuck right there in the living room. In other words, make it fun, make it exciting, put on a show. Any questions about what a show is? Because a show is supposed to take him out of his element, okay? The reason I don't want to add men to this group is because it ain't going to be no fucking surprise if they all look in here to see what the fuck you're going to be doing. This group is designed to be for ladies. And even if you got a lady and she is, you the lady in a relationship and she the masculine person, how the fuck you going to surprise her if she in the group? Please tell me. Make me understand. Because sometimes I don't, I have to break down why I do so. <laughs> This supposed to be the element of surprise for them. This ain't that shit that I just was talking about. It cost me a two dollar pool and a fucking fifteen dollar bottle of fucking glow in the dark bubble bath. Twenty dollars, I got a whole fucking show. I done turned his fucking head out. He ain't he he don't know what what the fuck to do at this point. He don't know what to do with you. He don't even know. He like you know what? If he ain't the marriage you bitch, he gonna marry you. This video not going on my Instagram. This video not going on my Facebook. This video is staying right here in this group. Because in order for them to get this type of knowledge, they got to come up in this group to get it. So, tell me. I need to know what you going to do for your show. Which one was more exciting to you? Which one caught your attention the most? Tell me what it is that you could see. Some of y'all churn already got pools. You ain't even got to go buy no pool. All you got to do is go up under the carport and clean it out. And he going to say, baby, why you cleaning out the pool? Oh, shit, it got dust all up in it. I need to clean it out. You ain't got to tell him because I'm putting on a show for you later. No. No, no, no. You clean the fucking pool out. You bring the pool in and you just sit it to the side somewhere. Everybody try to figure out why mama got the pool in the house. Don't worry about it. I just need, I cleaned it. That's it. Which show do you think is more for you? Another show, if you don't want to do, and I almost forgot about this one, if you don't want to do the bubble baths, you can do another one with the kiddie pool, and you can take this um, this bath bomb. When this bath bomb dissolves, it actually have a bullet in there. And once it dissolves, you can let him take this bullet and actually play with you and stimulate you with the bullet and stimulate you all over your body. And I believe in letting a motherfucker eat some pussy during the show. Because guess what? When the strippers do the show, you know all them niggas want to do is eat pussy. Them, these same married men, so say in a relationship man, very few single men, all they want to do in the middle of the show when the strippers are stripping is eat they pussy. So I need you to let him eat your pussy in the middle of the show. He got the urge to get down there and eat your pussy. Let him eat your pussy. If you know he likes to tip when he go, bitch, before you do the show, make sure you got about $100 or $200 worth of ones. It's recycled right back in your household, but make it fun for him. If he want to tip you during the show, allow him to tip you during the show. If you want to go to his bank account and get the money out of there so he can tip you with the show and you be like, shit, once it hit that floor, don't belong to you no more, then shit, bitch, you do that too. <laughs> okay. Let's see. 
Glow in the dark, yes, yes. I got three pools, okay. All of them, okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I'm just paying attention on here. Okay, so Monica, so do you wash the glow stuff off first or you can just go straight at it? No, you can go straight at it. It's not gonna um, harm your body or anything like that. I've been selling this for like 12 years now. Never had any issue with people breaking out yeast. Never had any issues with any of that with the glow bulbs. None of that at all. All right, let's see. The glow in the dark is so seductive. Let me tell you, when I do fun parties, how many of y'all ever been to a fun party that I didn't host? Because a lot of y'all never even been to any of my shows. I, I don't go into this type of detail at the fun party, but I tell them about the different products. Some of y'all need to actually book a fun party for you and your friends, especially if they're not open and they don't want to be in like a setting like this. Book a fun party so that y'all can actually get together and learn together. Okay. Well, I just started a new relationship and it's about to be on. All right. Can you use the bathroom if you don't have a pool? Yes, you can do the glow bubbles in the bathroom. But what I would recommend if you don't have a pool, use your shower. Do the glow bubbles with you and him in the shower because it's a bubble, but you can, you'll still see the glow everywhere. You take this shit and you put it all over. It, turn the lights off. Take a, a, a dark shower, meaning no lights are on in the shower at all. And all y'all have in this fucking shower is these glow bubbles all over you and him. And all you're going to see is that shit all over your fucking body. Y'all going to be glowing and y'all can fuck in the shower. You be creative. Keep in mind, this is your show. So that means that I'm just pitching ideas out here to you. You can take this shit and be as creative as you want to be. Because see, I'm going to have this pool with my whipped cream with my chocolate syrup and all this. And bitch, I'm about to be a human banana split. My husband love banana splits. And I'm about to be a human banana split. Bitch, I'm going to take some bananas and slice them bitches all different types of ways and have them bitches stuck out of my titties and everywhere with whipped cream and chocolate syrup and cherries and all that shit. Bitch, I'm about to be the fucking banana split. He going to eat that shit up off of me. So I'm trying to let you know that there's so many different ways to do a show. I just want y'all to do a show and then I want to hear your testimony about it. I want to hear his reaction to it. Because see, you got a lot of people out there on the other side of Facebook that feel like they too good to be up in here. And that's fine. Some women really feel like you ain't got to be doing all of that to please nobody. No, but I just think your relationship should be fun and exciting and I think that you should create memories. And then I do this kind of shit because I'm a very creative person and I just enjoy... Creating, I just, I just enjoy it. I enjoy dressing up. I don't, I do it for him, but y'all, I promise you it'll be more so for me. Because I'm that bitch. I'm that bitch. And guess what? You will never be able to tell anybody that Sharonda ain't coming with 100%. You will never be able to tell anybody that Sharonda was fucking born in the bedroom. That shit, you won't ever, you won't ever be able to say that. All you can say is, I ain't know what the fuck she was going to do next. For real. Y'all wonder how a girl got them fucking lobsters and shit cooked with shrimp and grits and pineapples and fucking wine and candles everywhere? All you gotta do is watch the live. I done gave y'all literally like six, seven different shows that you could do. I ain't saying you gotta do a show every week. But bitch, every now and then, every, every blue moon, pull out a show. That's what it's called. Putting on a show for him. Okay. Can I schedule a show? <laughs> you wish you had my confidence. <laughs> shit depending on it you know you just got to get out your element glow in the dark we have glow in the dark lingerie we have glow in the dark sex dice we have glow in the dark uh bubbles um we even have glow in the dark bullets glow in the dark dildos so if you are interested just inbox me about what it all what all like because it's a lot of shit that i could get for you if you want to do a whole glow in the dark show just let me know inbox me my inbox is available um, 
Because some things you're going to see on the website, some things you won't. But I can create an invoice and I can ship you anything. So just because you don't see it on the website does not mean it don't exist. All right. Alrighty, y'all. Was this live good to y'all today? Did y'all enjoy this live? Because I'm about to wrap it up. Let me know. Did y'all enjoy this live? This is the kind of stuff that keeps me motivated and pushing to get information out there. Because I'm going to be honest with you. Regular Facebook was very discouraging for me to go live and only like two and three people will see the live. That shit is discouraging for you to put this type of energy into it and then nobody sees the live. So just let me know. Give me some hand claps, some hearts, some likes. Oh, if you have not went to Fantasy by PPG and left a review, please go leave a review. If you have Google, go on Google. Google is huge. Go on Google and leave a review for my store because this is how people determine if they want to come here versus some of my competitors. I have so many customers that come in from Google and they say, I came here because of all of the great reviews that your store had. So I need y'all, it's, it's over 5,000 y'all in here. I need y'all to go on Google. I need y'all to go on Fantasy by PPG. And I need y'all to leave reviews. That is extremely important for me and my line of work. It is greatly appreciated. All the ladies that left reviews last night, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we still have whole bags. I know it's some people pay period this week, but this is the last set. And I think I have like maybe 23 whole bags and that's it. And when I say that's it, I just made these last, we just literally made these. I made 25 yesterday. We sold two of them online last night. So when I woke up this morning, I had two whole bags that I got to ship out this morning. So I have 23 whole bags and that is it. That is the end of the whole bags. On to the next thing. It will not be whole bag. So if you're getting a whole bag, you got to get in on it right now. You got to get in on it right now. All right. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be prosperous. Y'all suck that dick real good. And like I said, this live will not go on Facebook. It will not go on YouTube. It will not go on my Instagram. I may save it and put it on maybe two weeks from now. But they won't get this information right now because I got to give y'all a chance to do y'all show. Now, bitch, if you hold off and don't do the show and he find out about it two weeks now, you got to Wednesday to Wednesday to get this show done. All right? Do a show. 